So victim resetting targets at 35 yards from the porch. Uh, that box is, uh, I don't remember, 27 yards or something. That's 35. Are we recording? Okay. 40 yards at this can. Porch back there, 40 yards. Uh, yards at the stake and 60 yards to the chair that's kind of an interesting target it's a mill dot target the yellow part of the target is 3.6 inches and from center to any one of those dots is 3.6 inches or 100 millimeters. You can, if you got a mill dot scope, you can adequately range this target pretty easily. All right. Now look at these holes. I don't know if you can judge this by the size of my thumb, but let me tell you something. That's not 22 caliber. That's just how much velocity these 177s have. The can actually gets momentum as it's ripping apart, continues opening itself up, but it's so that uh, 60 yards, we can hit that pretty easily at 60 yards and still have the velocity to punch a hole like that through both sides of a soup can. yards on this uh, tractor tires at the bottom wood pallet we got a row of clay right there um, and that metal piece right there you can clip a target to that you can hear it uh, you can either hear clay wood or metal it helps you judge how much holdover you need at 88 yards and then let me get up here can on a post back there. I don't know if you can see it, but that is a hundred yards. Um, so there's the porch that I shoot from at 88 yards. Let's go over that can. Alright, we've got a breeze now. 100 yards. Um, with a 177 caliber still going through both sides actually making it out here this far. Long damn ways for a 177 pellet rifle. Alright, I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind out here. Or if you can see the back of the house even, but someday I would like to shoot this far. Uh, the pile I'm standing on is 190 yards from the back porch. I don't know if a 177 can go that far. Probably going to be 15 feet of holdover. But someday I'd like to get out here. 